Calm down, will you? What's got you so freaked? I don't know. It's about three feet taller than me. Completely covered in hair. I've never seen anything like that before. Maybe it was Sasquatch. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. I don't know what else it could have been. Are you serious? You think you shot at a Bigfoot? No, he's not serious. He's being very stupid right now. No, no, that's the only explanation that makes sense. <laughs> that's the only explanation that makes sense? That thing is still out there. And there are probably more of them. We gotta go back. Calm down, man. Just relax, all right? There's no such thing as Bigfoot. I don't know. I've heard stories. What stories? Knock it off, Will. What did you hear? Stories of strange things being seen in the woods. I heard them when I was a kid. There's even one about a group of miners that were attacked on this very mountain. Will, this isn't funny. Keep going. No, it's gonna scare Michael. I'm not scared. Go ahead, Will. All right. Happened about 90 years ago. There was a group of miners working on this mountain. One night, they were attacked in their cabin. Rocks, they fell from the hilltops, the sides of the cabin, they were just being shaken violently. The attacks happened throughout the rest of the night. At one point, one of the men ventured outside and went around back, was knocked unconscious by a rock. And when he came to, everyone was gone. There were these big footprints all around the cabin. Ever since then, people referred to it as Ape Canyon. It's only a few miles away. It's a pretty short walk for our friend, Mr. Sasquatch. That's true? No, it's not true. He's shaking your dick, man. We shouldn't be here. Come on, Sergio. And if Bigfoot did exist, he's not gonna attack people, all right? He's friendly, like E.T. I don't know, Dad. Maybe he felt threatened. Michael, shut up, right? This, this stops right now. No. We gotta stay alert tonight. What if they come back for us? Don't worry, all right? We got our guns. You got your knife. Michael's afraid of every sound he hears. I mean, that's a pretty good security system. All we have to do is hang the food up in the tree, and then nothing has any reason to bother us. Okay. 